I figured if you're gonna be hanging out with some cool dudes, I might as well um, get you up to cool dude status. So remember that case you were looking at earlier? Yeah. Toys. That's your case, right? You can put as many guns as you want. What? Yeah, that's all yours, bro. A metal? Yeah, bro. The, metal? Yeah, dude, the top one is metal. The, the top half, the slide is metal. And then the bottom is polymer, just like the real ones. And then this case, dude, this case is all yours, broski. What? Yeah, man. Is it CO2, though? CO2, man. Just don't tell your mom. Very nice. Are the magazines out on those? They're in. They're in? Go ahead and take them out. Okay. Nice. There you go, dude. That's all yours. Wait. I actually, I actually have my own pair of these. Now you have another pair. Sweet. Let's go get you some uh, um, CO, um, yeah, cartridges. Hello, Mr. Shopkeep. Where do you keep your CO2? Oh. Would you mind grabbing two CO2s, young man? Actually, grab four. Nice. So, anything you see here on the wall that you have any questions about? Oh, really? Let me show you my favorite one. This one. This is the one. Actually, yeah, this is my favorite one. The Are camp. Shotguns? Shotguns? Yeah, actually, right here. You got this one. You like shotguns, I'm guessing? That one's my favorite. Why is this one your favorite? Oh. Looks small, it's light. Let's see. Oh. Oh. Yeah, try it. There you go. Right there. Right right there. Yep. It's loud. <laughs> yeah, here look. Yeah. It's good stuff, dude. We're gonna unscrap that cappy off. Awesome. Let me see that. Empty. How do you know it's empty? Because it's got a hole? Perfect, yep. It's definitely empty. Ooh. Yeah, dude. Oh, no. Yeah, that's fine. You can use this one. Nope. It. So annoying. Yeah, it, it happens, dude. Just like any real firearm, right? We're gonna treat them like we're real. And the reason being is we wanna develop a mindset, right? So from transitioning for airsoft to pellet gun, let's say, right? Um, you wanna make sure that those four rules are always in place. So you always wanna make sure that you treat the gun as if it's loaded. Like we talked earlier, keep your finger off the trigger, right? Um, Let's see. Keep it on safety. Unless there you go. Shoot. That's right. And that's the last two. Never point at anything you're not intending to destroy and always keep your weapon on safety. Once you remember those four, you know, you're good to go. And like I said, even though this is airsoft, it's a good mindset to establish for when you grow up and you do find that, or, you know, you utilize a real firearm, you have that mindset set up. Now, if you do happen to find one, just to say, for example, it out in the world, you don't want to touch it, right? You run, you find an adult, and you tell them. That's basically all you do. But when you're dealing with your firearms, um, there's a couple important things you want to do. Is One, you want to make sure that they're always either holstered or in a case, such as this one, in a hard case. You don't want to ever display your weapon in public other than confined areas where it's allowed to. For example, extreme velocity, or at the swamp, or action acres, sniper's den, those fields. Anything outside of that, you always want to make sure 
that the weapon is always in a box. Unless you're using it for like practice. Exactly, unless you're using it, yeah, because there's been incidents where kids didn't take those precautions. They had involvement with the police. And when the police sees this, they're not gonna know the difference. So they're going to assume that this is a real firearm. And I don't blame them because, you know, if they see a kid run around, and they, they're going to take action. So for your safety and their safety in the community, make sure that you always have it in a case. And um, if you have friends that you notice walking around, um, tell them you gotta make sure that's in the case and then separate yourself because that stuff is about to follow. Other than that, dude, that's pretty much like the legal lawyer stuff. Once you're out there behind that door where it says field entrance, and it looks like the timer has gone down, so we have about four minutes left here at Extreme Velocity before we go out and do some pew pew. Remember when I told you about the firearm? Always keep your finger on the slide right here until you're ready to engage. So once you're ready to engage, that's where you put the finger right here. You don't have to put all the way in there, just enough over here, like the first uh, imprint right here, and you know, and you pull the trigger. That's basically it, really simple. Make sure you identify your target. And what I mean identify is that you're not gonna shoot me or your teammates, right? So as you're engaging your target, like this, um, you wanna make sure that you're shooting who you're intending to shoot. And then the sights, I don't know if you could tell, you see those two, those, there's three dots, two back here and one up in the front. They kinda line up kinda like this. You want to make sure that eventually they look like this. And that's how you're guaranteed to land your target every time. There you go. You ready? Yep, we're ready. All right, my dude. Yeah, go for it. Very nice. Very nice. Oh, snap. All right, all right. We'll do this real briefly. So, <laughs> what do you know? What do you like to know? Uh, for sure, I know everything about it. Let's do this. You see that room with that new board right there? Yeah. We're gonna pretend there's somebody inside and we need to get in, okay. all right? So, just like earlier, remember, you're gonna keep your finger off the trigger and keep it on the slide until you're ready to engage. Okay. And I'll do the same rule with mine. You're gonna fall in behind me and you're always gonna keep your weapon like this, right? You're gonna move just like that. Yeah, perfect. You're probably, Based on how you're holding it, you're probably gonna be on my left-hand side. And all we're gonna do is you're just gonna follow me and we're gonna go in there, all right? Okay. And I'm not gonna go super fast. We'll go real nice and slow. Ready? Yeah. All right, nice and slow. Nice and easy, no rush. Let's pretend he's firing at us, right? Go ahead and take point right here and hide. Very nice, very nice. I'm gonna take two shots. Go ahead and take two shots at him. Excellent. I'm gonna go first, and then you just follow behind. Ready? Oh my count. One, two, three. Good job. All right. He's standing in the middle of the doorway. I'm gonna pop two rounds. Yep, he's standing right there. So. Go ahead and go to YouTube. All right, so now I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna try to clear it. So he's just gonna come right, right behind me. All right, room clear. And you say room clear. Good job, dude. You just cleared a room. <laughs> so now, the next go around, you're gonna lead and I'm gonna follow you. Whenever you're ready. All right. 
Yep. Which way? <laughs> All right. Good job. We cleared the arena. <laughs> Good job. Nice. Barrel sock required. You must place a barrel sock on your gun before leaving the field. Barrel sock required. You must place a barrel sock on your gun. And then... Uh... <laughs> I'd like to show you a couple tips on holding the pistol and when you're moving around with it, how to be as effective and accurate as possible. You hand that to me. Thank you, sir. All right, so you shoot with your right hand. That's what it looks like. Okay. What I always do, I'll take my gloves off here so you can see better. You've got this curve right up here. And you've got this curve on your hand. You want to get that hand as high up as you can and then wrap your fingers around it and just like John was talking about you don't want your finger to stick through like this you just want to use the very end of your finger to manipulate the trigger okay so your hand up there and you get a good grip on it and then just like that when you're shooting you want to try to just move that one finger as opposed to like your whole hand because you see if I squeeze the gun how much it just moves around if I just move the trigger finger, then it does that. So also when we were out there, I saw you kind of were going like this, you were kind of going like, not sure what to do with this hand, right? Here's what you do. You see how you've got on your hand, go ahead and hold your left hand out. Yeah, you've got this surface and then this surface right here. So if you take your right hand and put it, let's see here. Yeah, just like that. You feel how this knuckle sits on that knuckle? Yeah. And they kind of snug up to each other nicely? Yeah. And you can also even try it back a little further. So here's what I do. Is I take this finger right here, and I grab onto the frame. And I have my thumb on here. So what I'm doing is I'm wrapping these fingers around, and I'm grabbing onto the frame. And so most of the aiming actually happens with my left hand. Most of the control is in the left hand. And then this thumb is just resting right there on that surface. And then pull the sights up like this. So when I'm running around, just like John said, my finger is always off the trigger. It's on the frame or up here somewhere. And with this, you want to make sure that your thumb is not up top because as this moves around, that's going to pinch you, right? And that's going to, that's going to be uncomfortable. So when I'm moving, there's a couple different ways you can do it. If you just hold it like this, then anytime you're moving around, you're always aiming at something. Because sometimes I saw you kind of like this, sometimes I saw you just like that. So if you look around a corner and your gun is down, it takes time to pull it up and aim, right? But if I go around that corner and my gun's already up, then all I have to do is shoot. It's much quicker. So try holding the pistol like that. So go ahead and get your right hand on there first. Take this off and just uh, make your hand just flat out like this. There you go. Now put those fingers around there. And now you feel how that lines up nicely? Right up there. And then take your left hand, pick up that thumb, and put this finger around there so you're holding on to this frame. And lower this thumb like that. There you go. And you want to keep those hands there. Yeah, so now do you feel like you have more control of that? Sort of, yeah. It takes time. It takes practice. So go ahead and practice that a couple times, just here and forward. To your chest, forward. You feel how you're like scrunching up with your shoulders? Go ahead and relax your shoulders. Just hold your head straight. And let's pretend we're shooting a sweater here. So stand straight on with it, like you're having a conversation with the person. Get your feet straight on to it. There you go. Now, what we're going to do is you are going to show me where to go. Now, one thing when you're dealing with a gun is that whenever you're talking to somebody, you want to make sure that it's down because if you're flagging, which is that's what's called, 
when a muzzle is pointing at someone, which we don't want to do. So you always want to keep it down just like that. Perfect. So now, what we're going to do, excellent, excellent. Never finger off the trigger until you're ready to engage your target. So now, you're going to tell me what to do or what we're going to do as a team. Okay. So what would you like to do? There's a team over there. Right? At that house on the left? In that house. In that house. All right, got it. And we're supposed to take them out. Okay, okay. cool. So it's that house on the left over there. Right? On the left. On the left, okay. So hold on, let me get ready. Okay, I'm ready. Yep. Did you cock it? <laughs> there you go. All right, good job. I hate these goddamn masks. You got a little taste of the field, the new field over inside of Extreme Velocity. How'd you think that went? Uh, I think that went really, really well. Nice, what did you like about it the most? Probably the fact that there's a lot of cover. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. What did you learn today? <laughs> For your safety and their safety in the community, make sure that you always have it in a case. You always want to make sure that you treat the gun as if it's like, keep your finger off the trigger, right? There you go. That's right. That's the last two. Never point at anything you're not intending to destroy and always keep your weapon on safety. Once you remember those four, you know, you're good to go. Always keep your finger on the slide right here until you're ready to engage. So you look around the corner and your gun is down. Gun safety and... There you go, that's the, that's the right answer. Right. And all the spots to go in, in the field. That's right, yeah, you did. All the you main did. spots to be at. That's right, and you also got a new case too, so you don't have to Oh yeah, yeah that's and right. you got a new gun. And you got a new gun, just, just don't tell your mom that. For all things Airsoft, go to airsoftpacific.com. Perfect, you did it. <laughs> Good job, dude. Nice. All right. Give this mic back because it's really expensive.